Now, I know there are many of you in this room who've heard stories from your parents and grandparents about how tough they used to have it when they were growing up. So let's see by a show of hands. Is there anyone in this room whose parents didn't walk 10 miles in the snow to school? <laughs> Bo you know what Both ways, anyone? Backwards? See, I didn't do that either because we don't have that much snow in Ghana. But that's not the only thing we didn't have much of. My village consisted of about 200 people. Not one person had electricity. Not one person had indoor plumbing. I didn't own a pair of shoes till I was eight, and I'm not talking about this Johnson Murphys. I'm talking about a good old homemade flip-flops. Now, it wasn't this colorful, and they didn't say Nostrum here. The one that we had in, in our village said Ghana, made in Ghana. It was black and it was flat. Now, this hole was supposed to be look like just as you can see, a little hole, so this will fit. The one made in Ghana, the hole was that big. I have no idea who engineered that. So in Ghana, we don't call it flip-flops. We call it toko ta. Now, you're probably saying, why call it toko ta? Because when you take a step, you go ta. When it pops up, it goes ta. <laughs> True story. If you know anybody from Ghana, go to them after the presentation and say, did you have a, ever have a tokota? They would say, oh yeah, we all had tokotas. Now, this is what we would do as village boys. We would push this out, find yourself a nail, which took about a month to find one. And the nail was also made in Ghana. Keep that in your mind. You get a couple of your buddies, one grabs a rock, one holds one end, and the other holds one end. You take the rock, one takes, puts the nail through this and you hit it, the intent is for the nail to hold it. But remember, the nail was also made in. So after two steps, the nail also went ta. So you could come home like this. And blood would be dried all over the place. And your big toe is not this big because your toe has been kissing that nail. And there's always mom, we call mom radar because she saw everything. And mom has six children, and she always say, Albert, yes, ma'am. Take the shoe off. What shoe? The one you're wearing, son. Why? Because you're bleeding. I know, mom, but I'm the only one with shoes on in the neighborhood. Why would I want to take it off? I'm getting props wearing these things.